Former Macomb County bodybuilder is heading to prison for a vicious attack that was later blamed on what's known as roid rage. Today's sentencing ends a long legal battle. It was two years ago, Paul Boshi pleaded no contest to beating his girlfriend. That was back in 2018. Video of the attack was later released, showing him punching her more than 100 times and stabbing her more than 20 times at the Washington Township home. The victim is now married to Boshi and has called for the case to be dismissed. Today, the judge sentenced him to 14 years in prison. Tonight, family of a Detroit mother of nine is speaking out, hoping you can help find her killer. 59-year-old Yvette Sewell was shot and killed back in October. She was walking into her home on St. Clair Street on the city's east side. Police said the shooter may have taken off in a black pickup truck with a getaway driver. I feel as if I was, her life was stolen from me before we could reunite and make things better for us and I just want to know who did this to my mom because at the end of the day she did not deserve anything that happened to her. Crime Stoppers is offering a cash reward of up to $2,500. As you probably know, tips can remain anonymous when you call 1-800-SPEAK-UP. President Biden on the ground this afternoon in Kentucky. His first up close look at the devastation from deadly tornadoes that cut through five states over the weekend. Dozens were killed with hundreds still missing. And as the search continues across the strike zone, the president looked to console survivors while promising federal help is on the way. In a town that is for the most part gone, the days are measured now by piles. Piles of downed trees, sawed and stacked. Piles of debris, parts of homes and lives torn apart and scattered for miles. And the smallest but most important piles, keepsakes pulled from the rubble. Personal things, that was uh, we found a reel of music from my dad, my late dad. Uh, he was a singer, so we've been finding stuff like that, pictures, uh, all my brother's tools. There's no tool that can repair the damage here. That's going to take heavy equipment and a lot of help and time. President Biden getting his first in-person look at the devastation. The government's going to cover 100 percent of the cost, 100 percent of the cost for the first 30 days for all the emergency work, from clearing everything to every single cost. And promising federal support will continue until this community and others across the strike zone come back. Survivors appreciate the president's visit and promise, but don't have a lot of time to think about it. There's just too much work to do right now and too much that's been lost. I'm overwhelmed. I don't know. I mean, this is my whole life and it's gone.